we have uh, tools, we have measures. It is possible to act in order to lower prices, in order to reduce the consumption, and also in order to guarantee as much as possible the security of supply. The proposals are on the table. The conclusions are, I think, a good balance in order to reach an agreement today. It will be probably difficult, but this is very important today or tomorrow to send a, a very strong signal that we are determined to act together in order to have a positive impact. This is fundamental for our households, for our families, and for the, the businesses across the EU. Latvian Prime Minister Karens said he hoped EU member states would come around and agree on joint gas procurement and price caps on import. In times of crisis, uh, there's always a challenge, and uh, often in the beginning, uh, not everyone is on the same page. Uh, from my side, I will do everything to convince and to argue why it's in everyone's self-interest actually to work together. Because also on the potential joint procurement uh, of gas, uh, while one can participate, one could not participate, but that would have a downward pressure on prices. It would be a very good thing. Similar that if a price cap on imported gas could be uh, managed, and there are many questions how it could be managed, that would have a downward uh, pressure on prices, and that's what we all need. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said Poland will strongly call for the price caps on gas. Poland, one more time, will strongly call for the price caps on gas, or the price corridor for gas. Practically speaking, the final effect of these two solutions will be similar, and based on my talks with presidents and prime ministers, more and more countries support such solutions, so I count on the European Commission to quickly act on the implementation of such solutions. One more time, we will be also calling on the use of the instrument that the European Commission already has, and it may be a relief for the whole of Europe, a relief for all Polish citizens, which is freezing ETS or emission trading system price on 20 to 30 euro level. It is a secondary thing, but let's just use this tool, this weapon that we have in our arsenal.